gonna be a tutorial. This is a holiday tutorial, but it's just a little bit more, a little bit more sassy than your everyday <laughs> holiday tutorial. Um, I wanted to do something using like cranberry color, or like berry and copper, pretty much, just because those colors in my mind really remind me of the holiday season, and I just feel like they bounce off of each other so well. Like they just complement each other and work with each other so well. And so I had a vision in my mind of doing like a little like a wink, a little blink of a berry cut crease, just kind of like a soft, got a little bit more dramatic than I originally envisioned, but I love the way that it turned out. So I did kind of like a berry cut crease with a copper liner. I ended up working in one of my favorite copper pigments. So instead of it just being like a metallic liner, it actually has sparkle going all the way throughout. It's not like glitter. It's not like an actual chunky glitter liner, but it just has this really pretty sparkle, which I just feel like it makes... I don't know, it makes it even more of a holiday feel. Yeah, I did add in a little bit more red into my hair. So now it's kind of more of a raspberry color, whereas before it was really, really purple. So now it's like more of a raspberry with some like peachy highlights coming through and I'm like so obsessed with that I can't even. So I love it so much and it's really been inspiring me just to go outside of my you know, challenge myself a little bit with my makeup and I've been trying to do that in my tutorials too. So I hope you guys like this and keep watching if you want to see exactly how I got this look. All right guys, so to get this look started, first I'm gonna prep my skin with this Herborean CC Cream. This is the High Definition Radiance Face Cream Skin Perfector, and the shade that I'm using is Claire. So this is a lighter shade, it's the newest addition to their shade range, and you can find this at Sephora. So the reason I'm using this today is because it works really well as a moisturizer and a primer, because it's like, it's extremely hydrating, and you'll see as I apply it, it starts off white, and then as you blend it into the skin, it matches your skin tone. It really um, has this ultra Ultra fine, um, like cloud like texture almost. And this is just so cool because you can actually see it changing colors and like it's really kind of camouflaging some of my blemishes and like smoothing out like, fine lines and stuff like that. But it has this beautiful radiant finish to it. And um, if you guys are wondering the difference between a BB cream and a CC cream, a CC cream usually has more skincare benefits packed in there than a BB cream and it stands for color changing or color correcting cream. And as you can see, I just love the way this looks, like it is so beautiful. It's just this barely there kind of veil of coverage. It just looks really radiant and natural. So next I'm gonna be popping on this Hourglass Stick Foundation, the Vanishing, oh, I can never remember the name of this one, but it's the Little Triangle Stick Foundation in the shade Warm Ivory. I'm noticing it this time in the last video that I did with it, especially on camera, it looks really light. Um, but by the end, it's like the perfect shade. So I always just try to remember that and like stick with it so I don't bail on it too early. For the majority of this look, I am gonna be using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. And this color here, Tempera, is gonna be my brow highlight. So next I'm gonna pick up Golden Ochre with this NYX crease brush and apply that as my transition. This is kind of just a nice neutral yellowy color. And as I go, I'm gonna to start to mix in more of that orangey color, burnt orange right underneath, just to deepen everything up. So now I'm gonna work with some of the berry tones in here. I'm gonna go back and forth between Venetian Red and Love Letter. They're both beautiful matte berry shades, starting with Venetian Red, and I'm gonna use this little Makeup Geek defined crease brush to get a nice precise line into the crease. You can always blend up more if you need to, but it's easier to just start off with less and just build up slowly. And then I'm going in with that love letter shade, the brighter one, and I'm just gonna layer that right on top. Just gonna take a flat crease brush just to lightly soften that color and diffuse it a little bit. Okay, and then with that blending brush, I'm just gonna pull this out and kind of Flick it outwards I'm using instead this time like a little liner brush. It's a Zoeva Smudger 226 brush. I'm gonna flick this color out with this brush too. Cause that's where you're really gonna see this color. If you bring it in too far, it's gonna get really dramatic, which you can do that too. But just for this look, I kinda wanna keep it a little bit tucked away in the outer part of the crease right here. And I just realized I've been doing all this on one eye and not the other, <laughs> so I'm gonna obviously make them match up. I'm gonna go in with red ochre. I think a cut crease looks so nice when you take just a little tiny bit of a deeper color and just lightly trace a line with it. It just adds this dimension and really makes the cut crease pop. Alright 
guys, so as you can see, I did get some of these berry colors down onto my lid, but that is a-okay. We can fix that up. I'm gonna start off with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot because it's the perfect color and it has a ton of coverage, so I just wanna really pack that over the lid. So what you wanna do is kind of just look down so that your crease is more flat and you can really reach in there with your brush. And I'm just following the natural curve of my crease. Where I really want it to be nice and crisp, I'm gonna to switch to a little Zoeva brush, a wing liner 317 brush. So this is great for doing your winged eyeliner or doing a cut crease. It's just really precise and it's perfect for getting underneath the outer part and really making sure it's nice and crisp. But I wanna leave enough space for my liner, so that's why I kinda of push that purple color up a little farther. Next, I just want to throw some shadow on top of that to set it. I'm using the Makeup Geek. Actually, this is the Anastasia eyeshadow in vanilla. It's just kind of like a matching shade. I'm going to highlight my inner corners with this eyeshadow, or no, it's a Super Shock Cheek Color by ColourPop called Flexitarian. All right, so next I'm going to apply this Copper Liner by... ColourPop. It is called Get Paid. It's one of my favorites. You can tell I've dipped into this bad boy many, many times. I just love this color. It's like a rosier copper. And I'm going to just apply that like a regular winged liner. You just want to be careful. I like to leave a little bit of space between my cut crease, like those cranberry colors, and the liner. So a little bit of space in between peeking through. My particular liner, I use it so much that it's getting a little bit dried out. And the more I layer it on, it's just getting a little bit chunky. So I'm going to take my MAC Copper Sparkle Pigment and I just mix it with a little bit of my Fix Plus in the cap. And I'm going to take that same brush and just finish off just the outer part with that one. It's just a hint darker, so I feel like it's going to add something really cool to the look too. Kind of just a little bit of a gradient. Okay, I just had to break to eat some dinner. I have some Chinese food, so I have to make sure I don't have any like num num lines on my face from going ham on that food. All right guys, so lashes are a go. They're a little bit more like this one's kind of like, they're really curly on the ends. With this look, I kind of wanted it all to be like one line. So I'm gonna work on like shoving them up more. <laughs> <laughs> it's a technical term. Go ahead and do my under eye concealer and I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. So once I have that on, I'm gonna blend it out with my Beauty Blender and then set everything with the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. Am I the only one that makes this adorable face when they set their under eye concealer? <laughs> oh, oh, it must be done. Okay guys, so while I let this powder just really bake and set up, I thought I would show you how I've been setting my foundation recently. So I have two of the MAC Studio Fix powders here. I have this one in NC35 and this is NC42. But um, this one I will actually use as a bronzer when I'm at like my fairest in the dead of winter. We're not quite there yet, kids. Let's just take it on back. So I can go into the lighter one first and just I just like to apply the lighter shade in the center of my face, just like that, like down my nose. Then I will dip into NC42 and I will work that around the outside of my face, almost just applying it like a bronzer and just blending it into the other one. Spin that brush around those brows, girl. Gotta be careful. Don't wanna mess them up. This is MAC Give Me Sun. So I'm going to be using this to bronze my skin. If I want to do like an all over glow, I'll use the Morphe 527 brush. This is so perfect. It's just like the perfect size. It really diffuses the color out beautifully. So I, for my blush color, I'm going to be using this Morphe 9N blush palette. I'm going to use this color right up here. And these are so pigmented. I have that on a um, Real Techniques blush brush. It's like a nice warm, like spicy color. I'm gonna put more on. <laughs> ah! I just got this highlighter in a few days ago. Ooh. This is a new one from Ofra, and this is called Blissful, and I think it comes with the Slay, what's it called? It comes with the Slay the Holiday gift set, and this one I thought would be so perfect for this because it's a golden bronze, but it's not like a yellowy gold. It has a rosy undertone. And I am so insanely obsessed with the Rodeo Drive Highlighter by Ofra. I'm just gonna pop that one on. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
This is so pretty. I'm glad I went with this instead of like a really yellowy highlight. I think this one is perfect. This is really beautiful. Okay, love it. Other thing that I'm noticing about this that I'm loving is that little bit of gold in there makes it so it's not like ashy looking, which I really like. I'm gonna take some of this and just amp up that inner corner highlight. The burnt orange one and raw sienna are really perfect for the lower lash line. Especially when you have a lot going on up top and you just wanna keep it nice and like soft. I love the Zoeva brushes for doing my lower lash line. They're just like, are so dense and thin. They're also soft so it doesn't irritate your eye. This is the Brow Line 322 brush. Okay guys, I just tried on a lot of lipstick. <laughs> trying to find the perfect color, which is why my lips are stained, which I kind of like this color actually, like a little stain action going on. This reads more to me as like a spring summery type of thing though. So I want to do like a true berry tone lip. Um, it was really kind of hard to decide between these two. Okay, bring it back in, bring it in, bring it in. These, I gotta tell you, are the best liquid lipsticks I have ever tried hands down. They are the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipsticks. Guys, okay, write it down, screenshot it, do whatever you gotta do. They are the best and the colors are gorgeous. They even have a really, really deep, rich brown one that's like a rich reddish chocolatey brown. That one's beautiful, all the colors are amazing. These, I am just so torn between which one I wanna do. This one is called Girl Gang and it is like a really saturated violet berry color. You can see, I wasn't sure if this one would be like too, too the too too much with the hair. I might end up blending these together actually. This one is called Big Spender and this is a berry but it's like a little bit lighter, more like a mauve berry. You see that? You see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? See how easy that was? I didn't use a lip liner, it's just like done. And they're so comfortable. So if you try them, you don't like it, you can blame it on me, okay? I'm sorry, but I'm telling you, I really think if you love liquid lipsticks that you would love these. They're just, they're insane. They're insane. I hope this doesn't mess it up. I'm gonna take a touch of this Tardis lip paint in the shade Killing It. It's more of like a brownish, reddish berry. I want a little bit more cranberry. I feel like it needs some more red. So what I'm gonna do is just very, very lightly kind of blend this into the outer corners. So my camera kind of crapped out on me there. My memory card was full. So the only thing you missed was me, I'll reenact it for you, taking this color, Big Spender again, blending it over top like this, just blending all the colors together. And I'm really glad <clears throat> that I added in this more like brownish, reddish berry color because I feel like it just gave it that richness or that like holiday reddish berry vibe, I guess. I feel like I say that word way too much, but I love it. Um, and that mirrors exactly what we did on the eye. So we just brought in that color red ochre, I think it was. That was just a little bit more of like a brownish red and it just gave it that depth. And I feel like it did the same thing on the lips. So I love this look. I hope you guys do too. I just wanted to do, you know, holiday look with a twist for all you ladies out there that like to do something a little different with your makeup every now and then. I think that's it. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye.